finally down to less than one square mile. Iraqi soldiers triumphantly displaying a captured ISIS flag. The terror group deliberately hid among civilians, sometimes to escape, but also to launch suicide attacks. So men and young boys are forced to strip. Iraqi soldiers fearful anyone could be a bomber as mothers flee the city with badly wounded kids. After three years under ISIS, families have been finally liberated. The boy shouted to us, we're free from ISIS. For many, this was the first food, the first clean water they've had in months. But many are sick. In a kebab store that's become a clinic, we saw a tiny baby girl lying on a grill. Rama is one of the youngest victims of ISIS. You can just see, I mean, the, the little girl, poor little thing, she's dehydrated, she's malnourished. I've been told that the parents can't, the mothers can't breastfeed because they haven't had enough food, there's been no clean water. This siege is now ending, but the scars will remain. Ian Panel, ABC News, Mosul, Iraq. We thank Ian for that report, and there's still much more ahead on World News tonight this Monday. The sightseeing balloon crashing into gator-infested waters. <laughs> the moment more than a dozen laughing tourists began screaming, the scramble to get everyone back on land. Plus, the deadly tour bus crash in the west. The driver killed, the bus rolling onto its side, several passengers hurt. What caused the driver to lose control on the highway? And your money tonight, stores offering huge July 4th shopping deals. Why, the longer you wait, the more you may save.